Good morning everyone. Today we'll discuss about the techniques and performance practices. There are new techniques that define an art movement. For contemporary arts, the following are a few of these techniques. The number one is minimalism. One of the most important and influential art style of the 1960s. It identifies works of art most often comprised of geometric shape in simple arrangements in lacking any decorative and dynamic flourishes. These geometric shapes characterize the elemental or bare bones forms of arts which according to critics represented the culmination of modern arts progression towards the most significant form of abstract art possible. It is a movement in various forms of art and design, especially visual arts and music, where the work is set out to expose the essence, essentials, or identity of the subject through eliminating all essential forms, features, or concepts. It characterized by simplicity. Below is the example of minimalism. The number two is Cubism. It was a truly revolutionary style of modern arts developed by Pablo Picasso in George Bragues. It was the first style of abstract art which evolved at the beginning of the 20th century in response to a world that was changing with an ex and unprecedented speed. Cubism was an attempt by artists to revitalize the third tradition of Western art which they believed the had run their course. The Cubist challenged conventional forms of representations, such as perspective, which had been the rule since the Renaissance. Their aim was to develop a new way of seeing, which reflected the modern aims. The next one is the social realism. It is the realistic depiction in art of contemporary life as a means of social or political comment. The number four is a found objects. They originate from the French object proof, describing art created from this undisguised but often modified objects or products that are only normally considered materials from which art is made, often because they already have a non-art function. In modern art, the term found object is used to describe an object found by an artist, which with minimal modification is then presented as a work of art. The idea is that the artist believes that the discovered object possesses a certain aesthetic quality, stemming from the appearance, social, and personal history, and therefore displays it for the appreciation of others. The typical found objects includes natural materials like sun, earth, stones, shells, Curiously shaped pieces of wood, a human skull, or a man made items such as newspaper cuttings, photographs, pieces of glass, fragments of scrap metal, pieces of textile fabric, and unmade bed, a bicycle handlebars, and so on. From the picture below, the pound object from the chicken is the shell of an egg and can be transformed 
into an art. The number five is the large-scale art. Artists have produced works that play with scale. Juan Luna's Escolarium displayed in the National Museum is an example of a large-scale object because this art occupies the whole wall of the uh, certain uh, part of the National Museum. The next one is the digital application. It is a form of art that comes with augmented reality, technology, and transforms Filipino digital artworks into immersive experiences, such as the fountain in this picture that shows the light and sound presentation using the digital application. We have different local materials used in creating arts, such as local materials in the Philippines are materials that are naturally and locally found in a specific places. Here are some of the examples. First is the material, abaca, belongs to a banana family. Its fibers has a natural luster with colors ranging from pure white to ivory and dark brown. In Eastern Visayas, in the widest abaca suppliers. And the product coming from abaca can be produced into a slippers, ropes, twine hammocks, frames, display jar or jars, or Chelsea chairs. Another material is the bakbak. It is the outmost covering or leaf shelf of the abaca stock. It is a flat, thick, durable shelf as twine or braided. The strong brown fiber is used to make furniture and the product can be a mat, bangkuay bin, boxes bin, display jars, or Sicilia dining table, and armchair. Next material is a bamboo. It is a raw material used in creating many products. It is used in construction, textile, musical instrument, weapons, in many more. It is abundant in La Union, Pampanga, Capiz, Cebu, and Bukidnon. And the product can be produced as musical instrument, the kubing, bungkaka, tungatong, angklong, patetig, and dagabang. Another material is the buntal. It's a cylindrically shaped fiber. The supple ivory white strands are quite durable, pliable, and have good dyeing qualities. The most noted producers are the provinces of Bohol, Pangasinan, Marinduque, and Quezon. And the products can be a bags, shoes, desk accessories like pen holder, picture frame, file trays, wallets, placemats, braid, lampshades, and window blinds. Another one is the buri. It is extracted from the matured leaves of a buri palm. The fiber is durable and resistant to moisture. It can be produced as hats, bags, baskets, memorabilia boxes, perfume tray, or other woven products. Another material is the coir. It is a fibrous material surrounding the fruit of the coconut tree, which are abundant in Calabarzon, Northern Mindanao, and Davao region, or in some other places of the country. And the products can produce into an indoor or outdoor fiber carpets, wall covering, doormat, trilleses, and geotextiles. 
Another material is the nito. It is a plant belonging to the fern family that grows abundantly in hinter hinterlands of Mindanao. And it can be produced into a box, bread tray, lampshade, and decorative jar. The next material is the pandan, a tropical plant. It is processed and transformed into splints that are being used as raw materials which are abundant in Calatrava in the Visayas and can be produced into a basket, huts, picture frames, and bags. Next one is the rattan. Belongs to the palm family. There are different types of rattan palms, such as high or low climbers, single stem or clustered rattan species. These materials can be produced into a baskets, picture frames, furniture, and other novelty items. Soya lunch chair, Valencia queen size bed, or rest divan. The next material is the ticum. Belongs to sea grasses. It is a native red plant used as a straw material for mat webbing. It can be produced into a bags, decorative mats, hampers, newspaper racks, table mat, waste bin, tower candle holder, wall decor, and some other more. And now, let's proceed to the different contemporary art techniques and performance practices. Number one is the collage. It is made by adhering flat elements such as newspapers or magazine cutouts, printed text, illustrations, photographs, cloth, string, etc. It is applied to a flat surface to create a thick layer that is almost like a relief sculpture. The number two is decalcomania. It is a process of applying gauchi to paper or glass, then transferring to reversal of the image onto the canvas or other flat materials. And the last one is the decoffage. It is done by adhering cutouts of paper and then coating them with one or more coats or transparent coating of varnish. That's all for today. See you next week. Thank you and God bless us all.